Ooh, grand rising wonderful souls and welcome to Bromins Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, it's good to have you back. Please know that my readings, both personal and ones that you see here on YouTube, offer entertainment purposes only, and I have to state that. We are all responsible for our own, own actions while watching my videos and thereafter. If I say he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm just picking up on energies. It's up to you whether or not you actually assign a gender. You don't have to. Um, you can swap the genders around. If that helps you, you can leave them as they are or get rid of them altogether. Just don't make the story fit if it doesn't. Anything that comes up in the areas of um, finance, mental health, physical health, um, courts of law, please ensure that you are, especially if it is really, really resonating for you, that you're gaining advice and guidance from those who are professional and qualified in those areas before taking any advice from me. Now let's crack on. The minute that I have started channeling, I feel like I'm really out of breath. <sighs> like I'm really out of breath. Um, <coughs> the song that decided to play in my head as I was um, tapping into the collective, it's a really old kid's song. Um, he's going, he's going over and over and back and forwards and sideways over the, the Irish Sea, a bottle of rum to warm my tum and that's the life for me. And I was, I was thinking to myself, why did I get that song? And my guide said that's because someone is travelling over the ocean or someone's travelling over great, great distances to get to someone here. Well, what I got out was the mature, mature man. A mature man may be uh, travelling quite far to get to someone here because they want some sort of change. And look at that, the mature man is right next to a globe. So you have a mature man here that is um, wanting to make a change, but the gift is upside down and occupation is upside down. This person may not have anything to offer you, or they may not have anything to offer to someone in the collective, but um, there's unexpected income. No, stop. Whatever the income is, whatever it is that maybe, um, there's too many messages coming through. I was going to say that this person may not have anything to offer you, but then I was also getting that this income coming in may be coming from them, but it's not. This income is coming in and it's something that is owed to someone here. Um, a whole community has to pay something back. And this person is going to come empty handed because they've lost their job. They've lost their job, but I feel like they may have been part of this because with this gift being upside down, it can either be they're trying to stop this coming in for you. But what makes more sense to me is that they're trying to get in here. They may not have anything to give you or give someone in the collective, but they know this unexpected income's coming in and it's going to take someone out of poverty. It completely takes someone out of poverty. And I heard generational wealth. So this person wants to come forward and be part of this. And you've got occupation upside down. So I don't know. I don't think this person has a job. But what I am also getting is whatever this finances is, whatever this unexpected income is, Someone won't have to work if they don't want to. There's, I heard one big project. There's one big project or something. Mm. I nearly forgot. I have not rang my lady girl. So um, if you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening uh, device now. This is just to cleanse the air. I don't know how long this reading is going to be because my mum's out. But when I hear the door downstairs, I'm going to have to stop because she just bundles in and you'll hear her going what are you doing so anything else about this that we need to know about this mature man pathway and femme fatale, and femme fatale excuse me main female privileged lady this person feels like they, they went down the wrong path or they have been at down going down the wrong path for a very long time with someone that isn't actually their equal main female in reverse a privileged lady Somebody who may have taken all of their money. May have taken all of their money, you know. They were guided the wrong way. Because butterflies to me always um, denote, denotes um, guides, ancestors, passed over loved ones. It's just a way of the universe going, do you know what? They're with you right now. And with it upside down, I don't know if they were... They were either talking to something that was false, a false light. Or they, their ancestors walked away from them. Or they never connected with their ancestors that way. And this main female might have had something to do with this. This main female in reverse, this fake female, this this person who's a privileged lady. Let's find out. 
Yeah, they lost their job. They lost their job because of what they did. What did they do? I've still got that scissor song stuck in my head. I've had it stuck in my head ever since I did that reading where it, it came across as like stalkery vibes. I still have that song in my head. So I don't know. I don't know if the person who is the fake main female is the one that's now stalking or if it's a mature man, but we're going to find out. So let's put you over there. And label this one. Okay, let's go over here. Tell me what we need to know about this person that's that's travelling really far. That's travelling as far as they can and all the cards are mixed up. Weird. Okay, so I don't know if this is... There's confusion. There's definitely confusion coming in. Somebody who doesn't cry a lot. This person doesn't cry a lot. They don't show their emotions. They don't show their emotions. Six of Gabriel. And then the leap of faith. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project. I told you there was a project coming up. Awards, scholarships and promotions. This may be where the unexpected income's coming in as well. And then it says here, leap of faith. Believe in yourself, listen to your heart and do what gives you joy. But it's upside down. So who is it that's worried about going on to do... I don't know if this... That, that mature man was expecting some, some sort of payout... They were expecting some sort of um, income and they lost their job instead. Something to do with this fake male female. What did they say to them? What did they say to them? Eight of Ariel's come out on its side, but I feel like turning it this way. Take great, take great pride in your excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. And then you've got Page of Ariel in reversed. An excellent opportunity will be offered to you, scholarships or the pursuit of education, time to get to work. And it's upside down. They were, there's something here about um, studying on how to block something or how to, how to make people not in, invest or be interested in someone here. And I feel like, were they working together? Because you've got Knight of Gabriel here and the Four of Ariel. When you give, you also receive being res re being resistant to change, extremes in how you save or spend money. So this is the four of pentacles. This is all about control. This mature man wanted to control something along with this main female. But with the main female in reverse, this person was tricking this mature man. They feel tricked. They feel completely and utterly tricked. I'll take my shoes off. My feet are really hot. Time to take action. Great passion for a cause. Instinctively knowing just what to do. So they were studying. They were studying something to control the way that money flowed or money came to you. And I keep hearing the postal service. Was this a letter then? I'm surprised that message didn't come out. I feel like someone here was trying to stop a job offer then. Especially with occupation upside down. But what's happened is either this main female or this male have lost their jobs. They didn't get what they thought they would. And I just heard this song in farmer. Someone was an informer, so someone ratted on them. Who ratted on them? So who ratted on these two and they ended up losing their jobs? Who ratted on them? Oi. I'm not taking you unless you jump over. Please go on the table. Who, who ratted on them? Who was the informer? Who was the informer, please? The informer, you've got seven of Ariel. You've invested, you've invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavour. So this is someone they were working with. Someone they were working with has ratted them out to the police. This is coming full circle to a reading that I did about a third party who um, more or less got kicked out of like the little trio. And this person had the evidence, didn't they? They had, like, they had a file or something. So that file's already been given to the police. And that must have been given to the police now. You have invested wisely. But I feel like this may have been... In, so this is an investor. Whoever that third party is for you, friend, family, foe, whoever. They invested money in this. They invested their savings or something because they thought they were going to get victory. Congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next projects. Awards, scholarships or promotions. They thought they were going to get something. With reasons to celebrate underneath. The community of friends... 
Happy announcements regarding relationships or children. And the Empress is upside down. They were celebrating way too early on something. They were celebrating way too early. Yeah, look, they were celebrating stopping this, um, somebody in the collective from being able to get whatever this unexpected income is. And they were celebrating that they'd stopped it, they'd stopped somebody from being interested in you or interested in the collective. Who? Nine of Gabriel. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibility. Environmental activism. And then justice underneath. And five of Ariel and solutions. The justice here in reverse says, fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favour. Don't give up. So they were really trying to, what is it with the postal service and then the and court as well? They're definitely trying to slow something down, this couple together. You have somebody who's ratted them both out, so they're not going to get what they wanted. And I think it's because they're being monitored. And then you've got this mature man who is part of this, who is travelling across the sea or travelling across the ocean or travelling across uh, a, this water. He's travelling across water. This person is travelling far, far distance across water because they not they may be running and I've still got the song in my head by SZA. So be, please be careful by this mature man if this is resonating for you because this person's a bit delulu. Because you got here nine of Gabriel, stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any imposs any possibility. With environmental activism coming out, this person could be an Aquarius. They don't have to be. But the 11th house does look at, when you think of Aquarians, um, I remember reading a description of them that they are those who are really up for for kind of like causes to help the, the environment, to help other people. Um, but what I'm getting from this is that this person will not take no for an answer. They will not take no from an answer. And look, the word no or yes is either being given consent or not given consent. And this person doesn't care. You've got the eight of Ariel, the seven of Ariel and the nine of Gabriel next to gift upside down. This person feels like they've worked too hard and come too far to be told they're not going to get some sort of piece of this pie. And I heard the fraud runs deep. The fraud runs deep. And I feel like the fraud runs deep because whoever this main female is in reverse, they were either copying you or copying the way that you looked. And this has come out a lot. Why is the postal service coming out? Because it's something illegal, especially with, with justice coming out. The number eight on there is the fifth house. And for some reason, it's telling me about children because this celebration, this thing that they were celebrating, being able to block some sort of money coming towards you or someone in the collective or delay. or I don't know what they were doing because I keep hearing eating piece of that pie, having a piece of that pie, but they didn't bake the pie. Um, that three of Raphael here says happy announcements regarding relationships or children. And then you have over here justice with number eight, which is the fifth house, which looks at children drama and children i don't know if somebody here has pretended to have a child with you they've done something illegal to make out like they, they have a child with you or that they've slept with you because children came up before and with this being upside down why five of ariel because they wanted somebody in despair they wanted someone in lack mindset the more that you're in lack mindset the more something works for them Something works for them. What works for them? Heart with a key. Welcoming, love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. So this is, again, it's coming back to this love bombing or trying to um, do some sort of love spell. And they've been, they've been really working hard and they thought that they invested very wisely. And I had a backstabber. So that third party person... That, that they see themselves as being stabbed in the back by this third party person, family, friend or foe. What else have they been doing? Tell me. What were they celebrating when it comes to children? What were they celebrating over? Why? Okay. That's a lot. That is a lot. I'm going to take this one as well. Five of Pentacles. They were taking money. I swear they were pretending that they had a child with you and then they were taking the money for it or claiming for this child. 
Queen of Cups, many children, is what I'm hearing. You've also got here Six of Wands. Yeah, they thought they were cele they were celebrating this. And I feel like this this mature man is um, they're kind of they're running away. They're running away from wherever they are because they're going to have a warrant out for their arrest. They have a warrant out for their arrest. You have Page of Gabriel, energetic, brave, optimistic, and playful. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. Opportunities for excitement and adventure is upside down. You have Leap of Faith coming out again with Archangel Metatron in reverse. And then you have the Emperor. We already had the Empress coming out in reverse. I heard you gambled. They gambled. They gambled and it didn't work. Or they gambled beyond pleasure. They gambled something when it came to disempowering an Empress. And you can be an Empress whether you are male, female, he, she, they. Because empresses are to do with growth. It's all of the queens in the deck. Um, so that's looking at finance, emotions, um, your physicality and how you are motivated to move forward. Um, and it's also how you speak your mind, how you step up into leadership roles, how you set healthy boundaries. So for the empress to be in reverse, something went wrong for them. And I heard biding my time, so they're still trying. And I'm still out of breath, like... <sighs> So it honestly feels like this person is running. Someone's got asthma. Mm. Someone's definitely got asthma. Is that the, the mature man or the, the main female in reverse? It's the main female in reverse. There's something wrong with this person's chest. And, and you've got Archangel, um, Archangel Uriel, which is to do with the body anyway. It's also to do with spiritual law. The Emperor for this is family. Fourth house, stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So this is almost like some sort of argument between the two of them because he's left he's left that person high and dry. He's left that main female high and dry. Bye. Bye, Felicia. Gone. And this may be from Revelations because the fraud runs deep. That might actually be the title. The, the fraud runs deep. It's also this mature man figuring out certain things about this main female in reverse. Firstly, realising that they're not the main female what i just got from that is that they're not even this is not even his main female this is like is this like a side chick or something this is a high priestess in reverse because the number two on there number two in tarot is uh, the high priestess with it in reverse this is somebody who's like a dark witch or someone who doesn't mind you know hexing and cursing others for a good a paid amount and I say that, and as I pull out the card, it says business offer. So they were business partners. They were business partners. But side chick energy. So this may be someone that they were also getting it on with. <sighs> the plot thickens, right? Follow your passion. Follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge. They're not, you know. They're really not. This leap of faith. And then you also have the four of Gabriel, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work, release yourself from burdens and situations. This, okay, so this masculine is panicking, very much so panicking, because this, um, this blessing or something, this big, this big ass unexpected income is about to drop in someone's lap here. And after all the work that they put in and it hasn't worked, they know that they're blocking themselves. They know they've blocked themselves now. Because that page of Gabriel upside down, they can't move. This is an emperor. So this mature man might come across as an emperor. You've, but you've got a leap of faith here. This person sat on something for a long time. This is the same energy of the same person, right? Figuring out that they could have had a soul tie with someone here. And they effed it up by doing all of this mind effery. Thought of Gabriel. Tell me more. Now, let me get these out. Obviously, you're shouting to me. So let's grab you. Tell me about the main female. And why do I keep getting the postal service? Fake, spirit, fake spiritual mentor or coach. So you've got a main female here in reverse, whoever this stock high priestess is, who's a fake spiritual mentor or coach. Boom. Someone's ex here. Now, is that the main female or is that the mature man? I heard either, either. Okay, so someone here has got an ex. 
who could have could be a fake spiritual mentor or coach i'm going to put it there what else do we need to know the fish this person could be a pisces they don't have to be but there's definitely something about water working with water royal bloodline amun ra and egypt I'll put this one here there they they were blocking they were working very hard on someone's royal bloodline because the gift that was coming in as well and remember i got that card at the start of gift this is not just about a physical gift this is a spiritual gift this was a spiritual gift that they were trying to steal tell me slander projecting their trauma on you look if someone really wanted confirmation on whether it was their ex your ex did this look it's come out twice your ex knows that there is um there is physical money a lot of money that's going to come in that someone may be able to sit pretty and not have to work after whatever this project is or whatever this payout is and this person's livid i know when you're lying an ace of cups coming out i know when you're lying this person may have wanted to try and love scam or love bomb it's mm, tell me more change your life this person hasn't changed and there was a need to stop or block someone's path they want somebody on the wrong path that's why this came out at the start and you've got archangel chamuel out here so this is to do with your inner child this is your solar plexus a sudden revelation that offers freedom break free from procrastination embrace the opportunities that change bring with it being upside down this is what they were working on trying to swap trying to it's like trying to taint someone's blood or trying to poison someone's royal blood to change your life why let me put that one up that way why for what reason for what reason for what reason thank you this is to do with your strength this is to do with energy um harvesting strength card flex your inner muscle fifth house again they may have been messing with someone's sacral chakra to stop fertility or to mess with fertility and please know that if you are having fertility issues i cannot um take responsibility for any actions that you take during this watching this video or after if you do have issues with your health make sure that you are speaking to a doctor or someone who is qualified in that certain area before taking the advice from me but with that being said there's someone who's very very jealous very very jealous who's in your circle who did you kick out So this is a, is it a friend and an ex? Heart chakra, sharing compassion, 13th chakra. So this is what they were trying to mess as well. Heart space, why? Something about the way that they are um, painting someone's character, hurting their heart space, brings them money, or they thought it would bring them money, or they thought they'd get a big payout. Trying to, This is like, whatever this payout is, it is definitely dependent on... I heard abuse or something that they have done to someone in the past when it comes to fraud, when it comes to their identity and they were trying to slander someone or get someone to act up in a certain way. The scales, a Libra. So you've got a Pisces and a Libra working together. But the fish came out on the side. So this could be someone that is a, um, they could be an Aquarius, a cusp of, of from Aquarius to Pisces. And there's a scales. Someone's ex could be a Libra clear cognizance when you know you know and that's what i mean by i know when you are lying so there was who was it who knew that they were lying time to take action great passion for a course instinctively instinctively knowing what to do so this person wants to come in as some sort of leader and tell you how proud they are of you and tell you how proud they are i feel like this mature man is a narcissist of some sort narcissist narcissist Hathor, Bast and Thoth or Toth, 54 or more Google searches per day. This person may be not just, uh, they may not just be searching on you because it says obsessed on the back, but it's also figuring out why you are so connected. Frightening, something is frightening. Sacral chakra, I told you, birth, birthing new creations, family, I am sexy. So the places that they've been trying to affect someone here is the heart chakra and the sacral chakra. They want to come in and celebrate. This Libra wants to come in and celebrate. 
and your root chakra rotted and fire scrying the flames will show you so they may have been doing some sort of they were doing mirror magic and they were doing fire scrying of some sort root chakra safety security finances divine masculine energy ambition and kundalini they tried they tried they really tried with the root i feel like they were doing something systematically like in a cycle you try the heart i'll try the root you try the this i'll try the that they were studying someone's heart sharing compassion 13th chakra so they were studying about your royal bloodline uh, someone's connection to amun and amun ra and to egypt they were stud studying how to make someone upset and your ex your ex is very jealous very jealous because there's something to do with this ace of cups the ace of cups is you know your cup run runneth over this is um almost like the, the the energy of peace and uncondi unconditional love but when it's upside down this is making money off of someone's um sadness or making money off of someone with no remorse big big payout there's look and big money come out as well poison apple evil queen snow white and i said something about the royal the, your royal bloodline being poisoned they aren't my family oh my gosh so whoever it is that you are estranged from if you don't speak to your sister you don't speak to your cousin you don't speak to your brother you don't speak to whoever or your auntie or whatever that may be they're in cahoots they're in cahoots stop they are in cahoots with them the virgin you've got a virgo coming out as well so there were three so far your sister oh my gosh your sister and the childhood friend you lost contact with heavily involved heavily fake spirituality five days ago you'll see with clarity five days to go and you'll see with clarity oh my gosh so you've got family in here you have a family member here who is a fake spiritual mentor or coach you've got water sign coming out again wow 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 they were expecting a big payout and you've got portal so they may have been trying to open a portal they were studying something about your royal bloodline to open a portal to what though let's find out to what because what's this about the postal service as well so they were doing something with the post blocking messages or maybe they were working um there's something about sending messages to each other but i don't feel like they were sending messages to each other paper wise because I remember doing a reading a while ago about um, people in prison, like sharing messages and how they do that in, in the shower room. And they would write notes or something on the wall in the steam and then someone else will come in and see it and they'd rub it away. I feel like something to do with the postal service. This, it, they may have someone who's working in the postal service, um, dependent on where you are in the, in the country, in the world who passes like empty envelopes they're like empty envelopes and they may just have a code inside or they may have i don't know something like that why why was i showing that about the postal service the world so this is um this is a postal service that is worldwide worldwide that's why i said wherever you are in the world this is a postal so this is not like a small um miniature whatever out in the countryside this is so this is people that are working across the world on this authority is upside down so they were trying to take someone's authority away or how someone is seen as in authority the frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful directed and realized and realized yet receptive wise and loving and it was upside down so this is like some hush i don't know if this is fraud though this is either fraud or money laundering under someone else's alias under someone else's alias you know and they they were celebrating they were celebrating how clever they thought they were no one's going to be able to um to figure out what we're doing because we're being so hush hush about it so who was it who was fig who was it that was working on like um the collector's royal bloodline woman holding the coin we've got woman holding the coin is this the main female in reverse there you go 
But what about the third party? I heard that was her underling. That was her underling. So I don't know if this person over here, this main female in reverse, I don't feel like that was the person that was with the mature man. I've said this before. I feel like this was their booty call. This may even be the mother-in-law. This may be someone's <laughs> mother-in-law here. I don't know. But this is weird ass energy. This is weird ass energy, right? Oh my gosh. So you've got the main the main female in reverse is the woman holding the coin, which is that's witch, that's witchcraft. But that is negative witchcraft, not positive witchcraft. And you've got surrender upside down. So what were they trying to do with this surrender? Surrender your royal bloodline. Surrender something. How? How are they doing this? How? Speak up. Closing your throat chakra. Having people not listen to you. Stay determined and move forward. You have invested wisely. This was bringing in a fake. They wanted to bring in a mentor for you. So whoever their underling was, whoever the underling was, is the person that was being trained to come in as a friend for you. To be your friend. They wanted to know. There's something about knowing how, your voice. I keep getting like Ariel from the Little Mermaid. Wanting to steal your voice. Daughter, personal healing and happiness. They want to know how you heal yourself so quickly. So whatever else they've been sending. Whatever they've been doing. How do you heal yourself so quickly? How is it that some of the things don't even get off of the ground? Because a personal a personal issue issue does not reach resolution. There's been this, there's anger here because this mature man also has feelings for someone in the collective, whoever it is that keeps healing themselves. And that royal bloodline with Amun Ra, a personal issue did not re reach resolution because they couldn't figure something out. They were trying to stop <coughs> a water sign, was being super sneaky and was trying to stop you from getting a gift. A gift that your ancestors wanted to pass down to you. Some sort of truth. Some sort of wise truth. And it was to do with a lesson. It's to do... And that's the thing as well, right? As spiritual beings, we come to this, this planet as like a like a school. So that we can learn things. This is my opinion. Um, it's not fact, it's my opinion. We come here with... Almost like with our own little like journals, our school books. Ready to take notes so that we can learn what it is that we needed to learn in this meat sack if that makes sense and you've got to be realistic about be concerned about you must wait before you can so there was something that wanted to be passed down to someone in the collective that was being blocked by a water sign they were being proper sneaky this may have been your sister if your sister's a water sign or it could be a childhood friend and that's the person i think that's been kicked out i don't know but they were trying to that's why though because if you've got a family member who is you know related to you by blood and they're trying to figure out, well, why, am I, why haven't I got royal bloodline? Why, haven't I, why am I not part of the royal bloodline? Why have I not got royal blood? Well, if you're there kicking puppies and sending hexes to children or doing whatever stupid, stupidity that you're doing, why would you be assigned that? And I don't even know if before coming into corporeal form, if your sister or your sibling and your childhood friend... They may have said in their contract, well, okay, we have to look at the darker side. We need to learn about blah, 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 blah. And maybe that's what they were assigned to do in the first place. That they were assigned to do all this stupidness. And it may have been that they had to learn. With Saturn being here, they had to learn. Because I don't, I don't feel like um, when the contracts are wrote, that they'd be like, they're going, I'm going to F you up when we get there. You know that. I want to be super jealous of you. Of course not. Because we're etheric spiritual beings who we kind of like in my opinion we dumb ourselves down when we come into corporeal form we forget everything we forget most of our past lives we forget about you know what our missions are we forget all of those things because i don't know maybe having that much knowledge squished into one little human brain would just be too much and we kind of like just implode or something but i'm sure there would have been like conversations between all of these spiritual beings who are like yeah let's go back into to our next life together and we can figure this out oh my gosh there's so much karmic debt that we didn't figure out from the last one you've got more than i have i know let's see if you don't send as many hexes as last time we'll try i don't know 
I don't know if, if the other one was being like, well, no, maybe I'm supposed to send more because it will help you out and then I will learn. Who knows? But there's a lesson here. There's a lesson here that was supposed to be given. And I feel like there was a specific lesson or information, imparted truth that needed to be passed down um, to you about your royal bloodline. And they were trying to block it. But there's also this thing of wanting to gain some sort of information they thought that you wouldn't have so they could get a one up. And part of it is why am I not royal as well? But look at the way you're acting. Can you imagine Princess Kate going around slapping babies? No, because she's a flipping princess. You don't do stuff like that. And also just a, a, a normal human being or a decent human being. But you have a sibling here or a family member and a childhood friend who are too jealous. They're so jealous. So you have a Pisces, you have a um, Libra and you have a Virgo here. And it says take time to breathe out. That's what I was feeling. Take time to breathe out. Someone here is holding their breath. It feels like they're holding their breath. Who's holding their breath? You or you? Both, but in varying degrees. In varying degrees. And belief upside down. So their job was to take away someone's belief or faith in themselves. In a higher frequency. In God, in Allah, in Vishnu. In whoever you see as one as, as all. The frequency of belief supports our sense of self-worth based on our gifts and talents and a strong connection to source so they were trying to take that away they i had let me teach you a lesson so they thought they were going to try and teach a lesson it's like when you hear people in like witchy groups going well no i can send a hex or i can do this to so and so because they're really nasty and i'm just helping karma out karma doesn't need your help you're insequential i can't even say the word you're insignificant in comparison to a spiritual law that is sentient like karma it doesn't need your help you're rushing things because of your ego because you want to see them pay for whatever it is that they've done that is your ego and that is your trauma and your shadow speaking and i'm getting that from this here that this person over here this person from your family or friend or whoever it is they wanted to teach you a lesson and they may have done a karma spell which is there's not there's no such thing as a karma spell you can label it as that but that's not what it is all right that's not what it is gemini and sun so they were talking they have been talking and they were talking about how is it that you shine the way that you do how is it that you're and it keeps coming back to this royal bloodline and they're sending they're sending messages through the post because i feel like someone got freaked out or paranoid that their, their phones were being tapped why when organising like for like, because somebody may have actually started tidying up their home, whatever, and they found something. Someone may have found a wire in their home. These people are being investigated. They're, they're being investigated, my goodness. When organising like for like, stop. But this Gemini says, use the quickest way and what is believed about and what you want to be known as. So this is the way that they were, um, I think at first, People were using um, like Zoom or um, WhatsApp, FaceTime to have like these little meetings or little conversations. Because I don't feel like everybody's in the same place. Because I don't know what country you're in. I don't know where you are. But for example, if you're in England, they may have been in America. Or if you are in Scotland, they could have been in Wales. If you're in South Africa, they could have been in Australia. I don't know. But there's definitely a lot of conversations and talks about how you're glowing. How are you healing so quickly? Why are you so happy? How is it that we did as much, the most? We did the most. And what's happened for someone here is that it's actually highlighted by a new, um, what do you call it, skill for them, Claire Gusto. You're trying to mess with someone's throat, someone's tongue, someone's mouth. And instead someone's getting better skills than they did before. But I also feel with this sun this is what's being shone, shone a light on because they were talking about this child someone's been talking about a child or they may have been talking about how long can they can continue set to say that they have a child and get these benefits and they were most probably using your name or using someone in the collective's name with your ex and saying that you had a child and, you're, and they're claiming all this money on your name so they must have stolen papers or something or, or stolen like uh, what your national insurance 
what is that in america your social security number someone's ex here went through a lot they did a lot and they've pretended that they've got a child so they can have all of this money but they've got it in their account how are they doing this how are they getting the payout it could have gone to the sister or to someone here they're gonna get caught man look artificial heart they didn't give a flying f about doing this they didn't give a flying f they didn't care that it would stop somebody from being able to move forward somebody here just wanted to take someone out and i'm not talking about like hitman maybe they did but this is more to do with like trying to break someone's spirit so while they're slandering somebody else's you know name they were trying to break their spirit at the same time why 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 nothing is yet set in stone because something was set in stone they knew that you were going to get some sort of celebration they knew that abundant rewards for your hard work were coming in they knew that you were releasing yourself from burdens and situations or whatever this income is this unexpected income that it would it would get rid of every single stressor in someone's life because if you're worried about paying your bills or you're worried about whether you're going to be able to get your car fixed or you know working too many hours whatever that may be the amount of money that's coming into someone means that they can get they can get 15 cars and get them all fixed. They can stop working if they want to, as I said at the start. They can be their own boss, you know? And then it becomes not so much about being stressed about those types of things in, in life. It could be then about your relationships, but I digress. And someone's aware of this. We're aware of, look, happy families. And that's why this celebration's coming in. Moon, the nurturing of feelings caused by and reactions. This could also be... For some, it's a twin flame connection and it's not for everyone. This could be an, a high level soulmate coming in. A high level soulmate coming in because you've got the sun and you've got the moon and these are twin flame connections or soul tie connections. And right here, look, I look underneath there and look what's right underneath there, sun. And you are good enough with moon, sun and moon coming out. And they're talking about this as well. I feel like this masculine... Um, I think this masculine knows that they are not a high level soulmate but they have had some sort of past life connection and they're trying to rush in they're definitely trying to rush in now literally on a rowboat on, on a piano cruise i don't know on a plane trying to get there as quickly as possible before the ish hits the fan i feel like it already has but they want to get to someone here before the news does, before it's on the news, before whatever, before it's in the newspaper and someone picks it up and they're like, oh my God, that's my ex. And they were doing that to, they were doing that to me. I need to go get myself a solicitor. And then you get a knock on the door and they're like, oh, hi, hon. Really? But it's blocking. You are good enough, Virgo. And envious gluttony. So this is your sixth house again. So this is where, when I was doing readings before about them trying to affect someone's sixth house, their health, how you ate, how you looked at your body, this is all from the same person or the same people. That's wild. Demonstrate, realize, act like a leader. Their, their reaction, someone here is emotionally upset at, at you or someone in the collective stepping up into their, their truest potential or taking those baby steps to do so. Because they were supposed to smash you down. They were supposed to, you know, annihilate you. And it didn't flip and work. Because someone here is well, well independent. Let me grab you as well. Sun and the moon. So these two people, the sun and the moon underneath here with the justice in reverse. The truth about what they've been doing. The truth of what they've been doing that's illegal. That they continue to do even though they were told no. Or well, they were told this, it was too risky. They did it anyway. Now they're stressing. Now they're really stressing. And someone is losing faith in whatever energy they work with. And this is the fake spiritual mentor or coach. This person is losing faith as well because they've kind of been left. And not just kind of, no, they have been left. What's happening to this fake spiritual mentor or coach right now, please? What's happening to them? Virgo. And it says methods for the healing power of the analyzing of resulting from the perfectionism of so this person may be going out looking for different healing modalities and maybe going to reiki masters and maybe going to tarot readers maybe going to other witches they may be i heard going to jesus going into churches they want something taken off of them 
Now with the sixth house as well, their health may be um, in some sort of mess. Now you've got a Virgo that wants to reach out. So this Virgo wants to reach out as well. So you've had the Virgo coming up twice. The frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing through our heart, the center of truth, to stay in the flow of source and balanced exchange. This person, there's something wrong with their heart. There's something wrong with their heart because they may have been the one. If that is your sibling or if that is a family member and this person has grown up with you, they know what your wounds were growing up. They may have also inflicted those wounds on you, be them physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. Something about trying to mess with your 13th chakra as well. And your 13th chakra is it's not physically on your body. It is an arm's length away from your heart chakra and then one hand down. That's how we, that's my, it's my experience of how we, um, we actually experience unconditional love. So this person here, there's something wrong with their heart and they, they keep going, they're either going to lots of different doctors or they're going to lots of different spiritualists looking for remedies. But they didn't realise that when they were trying to mess with your heart chakra, they were literally messing with their own. Because what you put out is what you get back, right? And if I hurt you, I'm hurt. I'm hurting myself. And this is something that they haven't learned. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And that's the gift that they don't want now. They don't want this gift. That's the gift they were given. Gift of mortality, I heard. Gift of mortality. And look, it comes out the heart chakra again. Gift of mortality. Don't let pride get in your way. And heart chakra... The green flower of life supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonise the mind and body. They were trying to heal themselves from something before and they're still trying to do that now. And they were trying to connect into someone's 13th chakra. It wasn't just your heart space. It was the heart and the 13th chakra. Because can you see like this one is green and then other people will say that your heart chakra is pink. And it's my understanding that the heart chakra that is green is the is what is actually um, connected to us. And what is pink is what is connected to our aura. Because one is to do with the earth. It's to do with physical, natural things. And the other one is to do with the universe. But they, especially with communication coming out here, and then you've got this one as well with green behind it. This was to do with their physical heart. And they tried connecting to your 13th chakra because they wanted some sort of healing energy that you have. Their energy is not um, immortal. And the thing is, when you think of it, all energy cannot be destroyed. It can only be manipulated, which for me would mean that when my soul leaves this vessel, it's not destroyed. Just the vessel goes and it decays. I will then move on to my next life. I don't think that they do. And I think time is up for them. Because whoever this person, this, this family member or friend, whoever they were working with, their time is up. It's almost like um, trying to change the contract. They try to change a contract. Or they try to force a contract. They may have been the one that was helping this mature man to sort, do something to someone's contract. There may have been a light contract that you had with this mature man. Or someone had with this mature man and you were supposed to learn something from each other. And then you go part ways and that, that contract's finished. And that person with this determination energy determination and move forward be prepared for any possibility they were like no i'm not taking those as an answer i don't want to learn anything else i'm going to bind you because you're very very bright and that's been removed and i think this has scared this um sister or, or whoever or childhood friend it scared them it scared them because they sent ghouls after you they may have sent a wraith after you they may have sent a monitor spirit and they've done this more than once and it ain't working someone has got half or bast and thoth with them or has these energies around them they tried communicating with through the heart space with somebody's guides i heard at a seance and it picked them up it messed them up divine masculine and then you've got here sagittarius insights to understand exactly the wisdom of resulting from the understanding of they wanted to understand more about this royal lineage lineage so they're not even just contacting um ancestors because they may have done that they're trying to contact hathor bast and thoth energies that they don't work with but you may or energies that may be around you or protect you because that that's part of your royal bloodline they are stupid awakening they did not get the awakening they thought they would they did not get the awakening they thought they would 
Wow. Adjacent possibilities for what? Joy in reverse. Gaia in reverse. They, somebody here was trying to copy energy and it drained them. Some, because someone else has run away. I know that the masculine has. I feel like someone had their life force drained from them, whether that's in the astral, whether that's in the physical. Something went wrong and someone aged really quickly, like really quickly. They came out of that se seance and they looked 10 years older and they have not been able to shake that. They have not been able to shake it. They were supposed to be able to unground someone because I just done a reading talking about the energy of Archangel Sandalphon and how someone here either is Archangel Sandalphon or just has that energy rooted around them. They are so grounded. They were trying to take away someone's joy. They were trying to unground you from Gaia. You can't unground an angel that resides over Gaia in the first place. That's stupid. You can't do that. Adjustments are required. Is this me is in reverse. Prosperity ahead and adjustments are required. So whatever they try to do in this weird seance thing, it was to do with money because you've got Taurus coming out twice. Prosperity lies ahead in reverse. And then you have Taurus, resources to maintain the practicality of, resulting from the productivity of, and then giving and receiving. So they were trying to take away this gift. It wasn't just stop the gift coming to you, some sort of truth. Truth doesn't always have to come to us in the form of words. It can come to us in the form of a revelation. It can come to us as an epiphany. It can come to us through um, dream state. And you just wake up knowing something different or feeling different. And I feel like it was vibration and frequency. Because if they're trying to get through someone's heart space, you know that we have 40,000 neurons, the same neurons in our brain, in our heart, in our flipping heart. And as it says on this heart chakra one, this, the frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and body, but it wasn't just that. There was one on here talking about how everything flows through the heart first. It flows, yeah, look, um, it reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth, to stay in the flow of source and balanced exchange. They wanted some, there was something about your heart. There's a key of some sort in your heart that connects you to source, connects you above and below, to Gaia, to Mother Gaia, and to, you know, heaven, to cosmos. And that's why they were trying to mess with someone's heart space here. But the gift that they got is the gift that keeps giving because this person's now got heart palpitations, they've got something wrong with their heart. And this person is sick. This person is sick. Because they, whatever they tried doing, they thought because they were um, blood related that it would be fine. But is this me in reverse? Whoever it is that they tried conjuring up, be it one of these um, Egyptian, ancient Egyptian gods or goddesses, be it one of your ancestors, they were like, we know that you're hiding in somebody else's energy. We know you're trying to source and, and hide in someone else's energy. This masculine now wants to get someone upset or they want them angry. They want some sort of response because then they can get into your energy. There's a gift. They want this gift so badly. They want this. They want the finances. Because I don't know what they were gambling on, but it's gone wrong. Divination. They were gambling with the divination they did. You've got astral projection coming out here and Reiki master on the side. So this person's lost their stripes. This main female in reverse has lost their stripes. Your sister or your sibling or your childhood friend, they've lost their stripes. They, they may have trained as a Reiki master. It don't work no more. It literally don't work no more. Astral projection and divination. So they were trying to get into someone's dream state. They may try to remote view someone in the daytime. Mad AF and Archangel Michael upside down. Stop. Or upright. Upright. So all they're doing is angering angels. They're angering your protectors. What does this masculine, this mature man think he's going to do when he gets here, though? What does he think he's going to do when he gets here? Archangel Gabriel upside down and clear audience, listen out. They're trying to, he's trying to block an angel that is connected to your heart space because Archangel Gabriel is the dream, is that the Archangel of dream time, water and emotions. And that's upside down. Again, it's to do with your heart space. Why? Why is it to do with the heart space? Why is that so important? Why is it so important, the heart space? On the table, please. On the table, please. 
the goat because it's to do with your career it's to do with your career akashic and your akashic records all your lives past future your reason for being your soul mission is connected to the job your your passions lead they want to affect this in some way and your ancestors your ancestors are guiding you on this they're strongly guiding you and you've got travel here with the chariot so this person's traveling in fast 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 this one let's have a look i will always come back my beloved so that's why in previous readings it was talking about trying to um manipulate someone into some sort of weird binding love spell which makes sense where they were trying to affect someone's heart space because you've got to think at one point this this non main main female in reverse or whatever they were working together they may have had like um a similar goal and it's to do with money and not getting caught for what they were doing themselves so getting somebody here to feel a certain type of way in a in a, a you know a lovey dovey way towards um this mature man was exactly what they wanted. Anything else that wants to come as a Virgo? Stay grounded. Make sure you're grounding yourself. Make sure you're grounding yourself. Make sure you rest, it says. Make sure you're resting as well. Because I feel like there is some sort of spiritual war or spiritual something going on. They're not finished. I mean, they're finished, if you know what I mean. But they're not finished. Angels have your back, so so very safe, and it's upside down. Because this person is, yeah, they're mad as F. They're mad as F that this money is coming to you and not to them. And that they're not protected. They have peed off a lot of authoritative energies in the higher realms. They really have. Mask off. I feel like a lot of angels are getting their gloves off as well. It's becoming boring to those in the upper realms. Look away, I'm about to make a move. So they really want to distract someone. They want to distract them before they come in. Okay. Let me have a look over here. No, no, no. Before I go, I'm going to have a quick look here. Silent cries, I'm telling you. This is to do with your heart space. Look. Look at you. And free to go. Now, free to go, I should have shown you that. It was free to go and my fair lady upside down, right? And then guilty as charged upside down. So this woman over here, or this main female energy, your sister, your brother, your childhood friend, whoever, they're still working on this. They may not be working with this mature man anymore, but they're fully aware that they're very, very far in the shite, in other words. They're far in the shite. And they need to get themselves out of this. And the only way they can do that is by continuing to try and manipulate someone here. Sacral chakra. They want to try and manipulate someone's sacral chakra. And I keep hearing your fertility. Something to do with your fertility. Because doing so, will rem I don't know why they think that it's going to move them away from being guilty as charged. Look, if this is a family member, this is about manipulating the any triggered wounds that you may have. Or any wounds that you may have that are still healing. Because it says family on there. Family, family, family. For you to forgive them. It's more to do with forgiving them. Because at some point, they were trying to do... They were doing mind control on this um, mature man. So they may have been trying... Look, you've got sexual healing coming out. So they were doing sex magic. On this mature man, without that person knowing. So if them two were together, and like that's their side chick, the side chick was definitely doing spell work during intercourse without them even realising. And you've got sailing ships so that this person wouldn't run away. And I'm going to kind of cover half of it because that's very naughty. So this person wouldn't leave. So this person would stay with them. So I don't know if you have a family member here who may be trying to do some sort of SE sex magic to, to get you to forgive them and or to kind of um, confess to... All of the fraud stuff yourself, because if it's got your name on it, or they've been trying to act the same as you, so that it looks, whatever they're doing, will look like it's you doing it. Friendship, friend request is upside down, and unfinished is, up, is upside down. Because this is more or less that this person may have tried to reach out. They were, they, were mono, they were mentoring somebody with them to reach out as a friend. They may have made 
fake profiles trying to reach out towards you as a friend but this was blocked and you're free to go you're free to go you're free to go free to go from what free to go from what free to go from what soul tie look you're free to go whatever it is that they were trying to keep someone bound to both of them were you're free to go from this this soul tie has been removed completely because as i've said in other readings you already done the part of your contract your light contract whatever contract you had with with either of them it's done it's finished time out is upside down and pandora's box that's what i mean by they had a specific amount of time and time has run out and pandora's box is opening for them because I remember someone was saying on the, the comments that, you know, it wasn't just, you know, all the despicable things that were in the box. There was also hope. I feel like this is the biggest lesson that the universe is trying to teach them, that there is still hope for them to turn themselves in or to turn their lives around, to do the right thing. But it's whether or not they wish to. And I don't think they will. And I heard my last dying breath. So whoever this family member is or this childhood friend, this person has messed up their health, their mental health, their friendships, their money health, their everything, all off of the fact that they wanted to be in royal bloodline. They wanted to be royalty. They wanted what you had. And now they're even more vexed because the mature man that was, you know, wasn't even their main male or was they weren't even the main female. They were some side chick. They're jealous as vexed at this person that wants to come towards you and wants to be your mature man. The drama, the absolute flipping drama, right? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, lovers and friends. Skeleton closet. So this this person, this is this the um the sister and childhood friend, or is this the mature man? I heard the sister and the mature man. So they they were their lovers and friends, but they got skeletons in their closet. This can't come out. This mature man doesn't want this to come out, that this main female in reverse was sleeping with them. Why? Why, why, why? There's something here about whoever they choose to share their bed with, they want to keep it hidden or they want to keep it, they want to keep it on the down low. They don't want people knowing. For what reason? Why don't want people know then? Why don't they want people know then? Oh, I said that and then this card, happy family, flipped upside down. Which said happy family in reverse. Why don't they want people knowing? They don't want people knowing that they're lovers. Toilet and labour. Why are the toilet and labour though? Why don't they want people knowing that they're lovers? Courtship, coffin, upside down. Because they're still kind of together. I was going to say they're still banging. <laughs> I heard that someone's, someone's ancestor was like, yeah, they're still effing. Even though they're not together. Main male is upside down. They're not even together anymore. And they're still doing whatever they're doing. And they, they wanted to keep this quiet. What about this coffin? Yeah, courtship, message, keeping it quiet. They want to keep it quiet from a community. There's a community of people around this mature man that they don't want knowing that your sister or childhood friend is with them and is a side piece. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. Because someone here, I don't know if this mature man thinks that they're soulmates with someone else. Let's see. Let's see. Anything else I need to know, please and thank you. Brazen. Who's being brazen? Confidence is your key to success. Someone feels like you're being brazen because you won't pipe down, I heard. Pipe down, love. Because you won't pipe down. Confidence is your key to success. So this is again to do with the fifth house. What are they doing with the fifth house? Tell me more about fifth house. Sacred lust. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're doing SEX magic on your fifth house now. Yeah, and I say that. And what is underneath this naked woman? A lion. A lion. So you've got a lot of... You've got sacred lust coming out, lover, sexual healing, the truth. And then you have sage of higher knowledge upside down and peaceful amongst thorns. 
Tell me more about the sacred lust, lovers, and sexual healing. North Node, there will be success from benefit. And then you've got Temple of My Body. Whatever's going on with this mask, this um, mature man, this person is unwell as well, but in different ways. Because you've also got Wounded Healer upside down. This person is unwell. And the Wounded Healer is also the Nine of Wands. Okay, so they're fighting something. The Wands is a very sensey kind of energy, isn't it? It's a spicy energy. This person is sick, as in they may have caught something. They've caught something from somebody that they've been sleeping with. And it doesn't even have to be um, your sister or your family member or a childhood friend. Because I feel like this mature man has had their peace in every single hole they could find. Because there's something they're hiding about their, um, about their lovers. So how many lovers do they have? Who do they love? There's something hidden here. There's definitely something hidden here. And they want to come towards someone. They want to come towards someone in the collective because they feel like doing so will put them in the north, their north node. It's not just finances. It's you healing them. You healing them. Your energy is pure or your energy is very important to them. They're survival, I heard. They're survival. And you've got magic upside down. And it says... Um, the frequency of magic supports our intrinsic ability to grow and expand beyond the moment to move towards possibilities and expressions that are as grand and profound as we can Im imagine. All that is required is our belief in their manifestations. They want to take away. This is the thing. When this person comes forward, they want the money. They want someone to stay. But it's, I feel like they're going to come forward and definitely love bomb. And this may be the person that wants to come forward with all of this, you know, juicy gossip about your sister or your family member or your childhood friend. But they're definitely going to leave out the fact that they were, they're still trying to work on someone's heart space here. Fourth house. What makes you feel secure? Support your fam your home base or family and crown chakra. So they want you to feel like, they want you to feel them as being home or being familiar or being safe supports a spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy to light that's what they want from you they want you to transmute negative energy to light they want you to heal them but that in doing so if you were to do that for them they would be draining you completely completely it's either going to make them more youthful it's going to take away whatever std s you know sexually transmitted demon that they've got it's going to get rid of that completely but it's going to drain someone here and it will bring in a lot of like um It'll bring, bring in a lot of um, stability and support for this person because you've got revenge here in reverse and then you've got liberation upside down. They, want, they, they just want you to surrender. It's weird. They want to fight you because they want to drain your energy. But they also want you to surrender to them and let them bind you. This is weird, man. Anything else before I go? Temple path. Stay on your temple path. Do not let them react look because your hard work is paying off the hard work this is coming full circle again to this unexpected income coming in because the amount of hard work that you put into yourself and the way that you give back to the collective and giving back to the collective doesn't have to be giving massive donations to my gofundme for example <laughs> it can literally be opening that door for that person or smiling at someone because you know they're having a bad day and hoping that that will become contagious and they'll smile as well. It could be helping an old person across the road because they can't do it by themselves. Or whatever that may be, straighten up a conversation with a stranger at a bus stop and for all you know, that conversation is the best thing that happened in their day. And all those small little bits of energy exchange is how we light up other people, how we inspire other people to light up to then inspire other people to light up. And that's how we make change. It's so small um, and your hard work is paying off. It really, really is. It's really paying off. Look, anxiety is upside down. When this payoff comes up, this big pay, when it comes through, I feel like someone's going to need to sit down for it. They're going to need to sit down for it. And use your discernment because whenever someone ends up hitting it big on like the lotto or anything like that, the people that you never have spoken to or you haven't spoken to in like 15 years, they all come out of the, you know, they all come out of like the little cracks and then they want to sue someone. So just be very use your discernment okay because it says here the frequency of discernment supports our ability to view the world and the people around us from a place of inner balance and detachment yet with compassion and wisdom so when this person does come forward you're also being told there is 
a want and intent from this person or people for you to react in a volatile way. So don't give them what they want because they feed off of that type of nature. This discernment is just saying, stay, stay rooted in your heart space, in your 13th chakra of that unconditional loving. It doesn't mean that because you are being kind that you're a, walk, you're a, you know, a rug that people can walk over. Have your healthy boundaries. Um, if they reach out to you and you don't want to speak to them, don't flip and speak to them. You don't have to. Look, ether at cords. Someone may need to want to do a cord removal. Step out of your comfort zone is upside down. Yeah, someone may want to do um, a cord removal because you've got all tied up here in throat chakra. So they may be trying to bind someone's throat chakra at this moment because it's to do with your creativity. Um, I'll put, I think I've got some cord removals down below. If you're comfortable with working with angelic energies and with Reiki and stuff like that, there are two different links. One will be just for Reiki and the other one is angelic energy that will help to remove cord removals. Um, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. And if you are new to my channel, I would love you to hit the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content when I post. And if you are a returning subscriber, hearts, kisses, stay awesome. Do not get fooled by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. Block and report them. And if you want to donate to that lovely GoFundMe, it's down below. I love you guys and I'll see you later. Bye.